I'm going to show you guys a very cool trick on how to get SEO optimized content. Now, if we take a look here, this is my video talking about the on-page SEO checklist for 2024. And what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to first of all head over to my website, casualdash.com. And if we actually take a look at that page, so this basically is a checklist that you can head over onto my website, you can get a download link through to. But if we actually take a look at the page, so on page SEO checklist, that there actually isn't any content on here. It's just got the video embedded. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to change that. So every video that you that's actually been uploaded, what you can actually do is if you click on more um, or show more, and there is actually a transcript for every single video. <clears throat> um, now, what I'm actually going to do is I am going to copy all of this. And then I'm going to head over to um, ChatGBT. And ChatGBT is going to actually help us out a little bit. So if we take a look here and if we paste in our entire transcript. So... It's a 40 minute video, it's got 30 or 38 minutes and 30 second minute video and it's got all of the words that I've actually said within the video. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a simple prompt, something along the lines of can you turn this article into a SEO optimized, actually can you turn this transcript into a SEO optimized article for my website kajra-dot-com and the keyword I want to rank for is on page SEO check list <clears throat> now I'm just gonna let that do its thing um, I'm also gonna head over to phrase.io and we're going to get a few keywords and also LSIs and stuff like that that we can actually include on the um, article. So if I just click on SEO workflow, I'll click on new. We're going to do on page SEO checklist. And we'll just keep it US. We'll click on create document. Now this is going to go and do its thing. I'm going to click on start research. Now, th what this is basically doing is it's going to go to loads of websites that's ranking for on-page SEO checklist, and it's going to get a combination of keywords that they've actually used within their content um, and keywords or subheadings that we also need to include within our article as well. So if we head over to ChatGBT, as you can see here, um, it has done its thing. Um, if we take a look... Include internal links. Let me just see if it has actually listened to our transcript. I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly pause the video uh, and I'm going to quickly read through um, everything that's on here and obviously cross-reference it on the on-page SEO checklist. Yep, it looks like it actually has done a fairly good job. Now, what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to click on outline <coughs> and... Actually, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to click on optimize, should I say. And if we take a look here, you can actually see which um, keywords that we actually need to have on the page. So if I just copy this and paste it on to phrase, we'll get a score. Um, so if we take a look, it's 40%. It's not terrible, but the average is 66%, right? So what I'm actually going to do here, right, is I'm just going to delete the content to begin with. <clears throat> and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy these keywords. And I'm going to get it pasted into um, ChatGPT. And I'm going to basically tell it, like, include these keywords. Um, can you include these keywords naturally? throughout the content and then also feel free to use hfreeze and expand on each section as well 
if it makes sense to. Now, the reason why I've always said if it makes sense to, in some cases, it doesn't make sense to expand on certain subheadings. Um, but this is actually going to improve our SEO, um, on page SEO checklist article. So we will wait for this to go ahead and do its thing, and then I will resume the video. Right, so that has done its thing. Now, if we actually copy all of this content now, and if we just paste that in to um, the article, as you can see, we are at 69%, um, which is really good in comparison to where we were before. Um, <coughs> the average is obviously 66%. Now, a few things that we could obviously tweak on this. So if I just copy all of this and paste this in to Hemingway, Hemingway Editor. Also, by the way, just as a side note, you don't even need to use phrase. Um, you can obviously go through and add in um, anything that you are uncertain of. Um, but if we take a look here, actually, it's grade eight. Um, I mean, there, there's there's not much that you can obviously do. There, there's a few sentences that you could definitely say, like, um, can you use more um, shorter sentences? Like, for example, right? What I could do here, um, and this is me being like super anal about the content, is I could just copy this and say something along the lines of, hey, can you make the sh sentences shorter so <coughs> we get a higher score on Hemingway Editor? For example, these. So I'm going to, um, actually, do you know what? It's, it's only just done the, the sentences. C now, can you do this for the entire article? Um, so now it's going to go ahead and actually use shorter sentences. Now, the reason why we care about short sentences is when you start using super long sentences, Google can get confused as to what you're talking about or what the sentence is actually about. So that's why we like to keep the short the sentences short and also concise. Um, and it just it just makes it for a much better user experience as well. So again, we're just gonna let this thing rip and we're gonna pay, fire it into Hemingway Editor. To be honest with you, a grade eight is fairly class, like you, you shouldn't really worry about um, getting a much lower score, but I'm just going to be a little bit picky and see if I can get this score to be even lower. So, grade six, just by doing that, it has shredded off 757 words. Let's just see what our SEO score is. Overall, um, what's happened there? There we go. <clears throat> so, we're at 59 um, score, so... That's one thing to bear in mind. Obviously, you can go for a higher SEO score, but it does mean that you might need a few longer sentences. Um, or you could go for a lower um, SEO score, but a much higher Hemingway um, score. So it's completely down to what you are used to. Um, what I'm actually probably going to do is I'm, I'm, I'm going to just um, use this content here um, and I'm going to just upload it through to my website. So this is the actual article here. Um, I'm just going to paste it in. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to just rearrange a few things. So, for example, I might actually look to embed this a little bit lower down in the actual page. So, for example, I might actually embed that um, here. This I'm going to obviously link through to my contact page. <coughs> So that's that done, and I'm going to actually embed this just actually after my um, video. Now, a few things on this. Um, I typically, and this is just because I just know a lot about the actual SEO space, I do prefer to go in and actually add in some viewpoints. So, for example, there there is probably maybe another... 20, 30 more minutes worth of work here um, that I will actually go through and actually add in. 
So what I mean by that, if if I take a look at this article here now, this was um, fairly handwritten, like a lot of it was written by myself and I actually like to add in like pro tips. So for example, if I'm talking about a certain subject, right, if I'm talking about um, checking index status, I might actually have a pro tip underneath this saying like, hey, you can check your index status by going to Google Search Console and doing this or doing that. Um, so I, I just prefer to break up the content a little bit e um, more because it's just a little bit easier on the actual eye. Like if I look at my other article that I've also written as well. So this is an article on um, recovering from a core algorithm update, right? And this was like, th this was probably more so like, I want to say 90% um, written by myself, like manually. The only time that I would ever use AI on, on something like this is when I was grammar checking myself. Like I am terrible at grammar. It's not my strong point at all. So <clears throat> I would occasionally write a paragraph or I would write like a snippet of text, like what I've done here, for example, and then I would potentially either use Grammarly or I would use ChatGPT um, to just grammar check me, myself. Um, and also in some cases, I find that I am not the most concise writer naturally. Um, I, I do waffle. Um, so again, getting ChatGPT to remove any waffle did help. But this ended up being like a 3,000 word article. Um, like obviously there's loads of big pro tips. There's like big, um, car uh, not carousel, sorry, um, drop downs. Um, and there's just a lot of text on this page. But again, this is like a three and a half thousand, three thousand word article. If I didn't use AI, it would be a little bit more all over the place. The subheadings didn't make as much sense because in some cases I, w I would ask um, AI like, hey, um, what would you recommend having as a H3 under this subheading, for example? Um, so it helped me structure the content and get a good content outline and it also helped me remove a lot of fluff like I think when I was finished writing this article it was probably like four and a half thousand words and when I ran it through AI and I said like hey can you remove any of the fluff can you make it more concise it ended up actually being like three and a half thousand words um, so there's a lot of things that you can obviously do like this was just one example where you use a video transcript um, but again, there's a few extra bits that you'd pro that I'm probably going to need to do. Um, like, for example, this again, it just looks very, very blocky to me. Um, so what I would be doing here is um, is actually going through this and actually adding in pro tips, adding in potential FAQs for every section. That's another thing that I also have done here. So like, for example, I'm talking about content pruning and I actually have three questions on this one section. Um, if I scroll up, um, again, I'm talking about um, how cr like how crawlability and, the, and, it, and indexing works. And again, I've got three questions here. Um, I've got one question about like evaluating your backlinks. Um, so yeah, like the I, I, I just feel like doing um, like probably 80% of the work or 60% of the work with, with AI and then just going through and handpicking certain things that you actually want within the content, whether it's images, whether it's videos, etc. It's just going to help a lot, lot more. Um, again, that's another thing that I've not actually um, done on this. Like, for example, my on-page SEO checklist actually says you should be like multimedia rich. You should be uh, optimizing your images. This article right now has zero images. It's just got one video. So that's another thing that I would be wanting to do. So something like this has got like four or five pictures. It's got a video. Um, it has a infographic. Now, I'm not saying every article on your website should have that, but having at least one or two images will definitely help um, you rank the image and also potentially ranking the actual web page higher as well. So that's been my video on how to generate content completely for free. And it's also expert um, vetted content as well, depending on um, the type of video that you're obviously transcribing and stuff. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. And as always, if you want a growth strategy call for your website, make certain to check out casualdash.com. Thanks.